All right. It's our cat enclosure. It's probably about 20 foot by 10 foot by five foot something. So they're not very tall. I wish they were taller. Um, I actually made this enclosure out of a uh, pet safe kennels from Lowe's. They're nice, uh, they're nice cages. They've got that uh, heavy coated wire, which is important, I think. Anytime you have wire cages, it's good to get the heavy coated wire because of rust and, and urine and whatever else, especially from pets. If you're a pet owner, you know what I'm talking about. It'll dissolve right through anything. But this is actually, that's pet safe. I said we bought these at Lowe's. This is actually two and a half kennels. I bought two full kennels. They had a bunch one year that obviously I hadn't sold in a while. They looked a little rough. I kind of, so I picked a few of them up on for a little bit of a discount and I actually got two extra panels that were usable out of another one that just didn't look great. So, but, um, and I put, what you end up getting is five normal panels and more one door panel like this and you can see how wide these doors are the large doors are good for getting things in and out um, but on another note it's actually kind of a large opening especially when it comes to the cats or whatnot but I don't have any problem with the cats they they don't run anywhere really we had made this for our Canadian Lynx originally but we put the Canadian Lynx out back and made a much bigger cage because this one after making I decided it wasn't quite large enough as the kittens, we did keep them in here a couple of times for a little bit, but um, like I said I didn't want them out in the front yard either, so I wanted them more of a secluded cage and a little better, I don't know, a little better protected, also a little more secure with the door and everything, so because this, like I said, is a little too easy to get in and to. So the uh, trees in here, I actually uh, incorporated the trees into the cage. That was probably one of the hardest things to do in this cage was uh, to actually tie in these Bradford pears. I have to come out here and trim a couple of these the trees. You can see this has been here since 08. The trees are growing into the branches. I mean this one's literally almost grown over that wire almost an inch. So there ain't no way to get that out of there now. The problem with Bradford pears is especially around here in Tennessee where we get a lot of hot and cold changes in the weather I'm sure it happens everywhere but out here definitely they get really hot and they get cold or they snow and too much snow gets on them they split they're real soft wood they split in half and there's tons of them around here that happens they completely split and everybody just ends up cutting them down but they're great shade trees if you keep them trimmed down they, they are they're much they're much sturdier little trees they get extra long tall branches with too much with a ton of foliage but that's why they make great shade trees but that's also why they break so about five years ago I just picked out four main trunks off the bottom that I wanted to save and I, I cut them down to like that and then from there I've kind of let it spider out a little bit but I cut them down every few years but they do end up with a ton of brush like that over there I just I, I mean that's a huge pile of brush I mean there's also some trees from my neighbor's house but that's only part of it because when I originally cut it, there's a new, another huge brush pile out behind my house. But I did with all four of these trees. So that's something I'd recommend doing with these kind of trees. But they do work great, like I said, for shade. They love it. Um, I, then I put this 2x4 uh, uh, weld wire just over the whole top of it. Two, uh, two rows of it. And then uh, fish it together with these uh, hog nose clamps. You can find those at like uh, Tractor Supply or whatnot. Actually, a tip I learned off some of my years ago. I've never thought of doing that, but they work real well. Just get some needle nose pliers or some clamp, hog nose clamp pliers if you want to buy that and just clamp them together. Works good, holds them together, nothing's getting out. This cage isn't very tight, isn't very tall, as I was saying, so I, I've kind of fashioned this little mess here together. I've uh, tied it to my little tree that I made. I made this little tree and uh, some old steps from the house. These are old steps from the house. I uh, I just tied them to a little table that I made out of some old scrap lumber, and then I got this. Uh, I had a roll of 
patio carpet I bought on, on sale at Home Depot too, or Lowe's one. I don't remember exactly where now, but it's been a long time. But and I just put that patio carpet over everything, stapled it to it all. But um, cats love having something to scratch on, obviously. All of this is just recycled lumber, so just big old 6x6. Six six. I put kind of some footers on it and then tied it into the top here. So they love the little tree, like I said. It's a great place for them to walk and climb. Um, same doing back. There's a little walk back there. And this is an old house that was given to us. It's a little kid's playhouse. So again, it's great for shade. Gives them something to set in. I mean, not that pretty over here, obviously, but eh, it works. I got an actual little pet house inside of there for them. So they all picked their little favorite spots. I picked these up. They're old trampoline springs just to hold this... Uh, this thing on here which I figured that'd be easier if I ever need to take it off and replace it so at least it's not tied in but this thing's lasted much longer I've put I've probably put three tarps on side on top of this and you know how tarps just don't last that long they uh they kind of uh rust and fade away this thing tends to fall over from time to time but yeah the cage is very tall I said so I kind of fashioned this together at these little I don't know these little rods here and kind of bend them up just a little bit, hold the boards in place, and and hold this up. That way you're just not hitting your head on the top because I'm not that tall, but it's it's right on top of my head. So that's something I would uh, recommend to Petco. Pet safe is to make your cages a, a foot taller. Then again, I don't guess too many people are putting covers on them or walking in them like I am. So, but I don't like why do why shorten the project any so. We have uh, sand and stuff in this. The cage used to be full of grass, but I actually filled it full of sand. I go in here and I scrape it out because they're cats. They're going to poop everywhere. They dig and poop. So now I don't have to mess with cat litter boxes at least, which is the best thing. So I just come through here with a steel rake and uh, and rake it off. Clean it up. Add some new sand or, or whatnot. It's the best thing. It's the easiest thing in the world, I said, too. So it's a great thing about it. I don't have to, build, I don't have to deal with any of that. So, and they really like it out here. They're all adopted cats, so this one we got off a friend, just kidding, they they moved. This one we found here, this is Samantha, this is DC, Samantha, she kind of looks like a Siamese, just found her on her back porch, stayed to start hanging out around the house. We had one cat we lost to antifreeze, but this cat looked almost like her and showed up the next day in the same spot, just a kitten just outside, we don't know where she came from, but... She's actually a really pretty cat. She's unusual, so. And our original cat, the whole reason, other than for the lynx, the reason we built this cage, the reason we built this cage was for our other cat, Jade. I don't even see. Here, Jade. Jade. I don't know where the cat is. But, um, she was having problems with misdirection. She was, like, kind of lashing out, tried to Scratch us a couple of times. There she is. Come here, Jay. So, but uh, yes, yeah, so she scratched me and my wife pretty good from just you know she's sitting there had, had a dead stare in the house looking at the doors or windows or whatever. I kind of looked at it. It's called misdirected anger or aggression. And uh, yeah, so you couldn't do anything. I tried to move her and she just tore me up. And I said, then she, one day she just lunged out at my wife and caught her on the leg. So. But she actually seems to be happier outside, I said, you know. It's better for the shedding, because cats shed, and we got so many of them anyway, so. They, uh, keeps them from shedding so much everywhere. Keeps them from tearing up things in the house and pooping. Tree work's good for that, too, I said. Yeah, I mean, obviously, they use it for that. They, uh, they use this thing as a giant scratching post, so, and that was the point of it, so. They're, they're doing what they're supposed to do. But they definitely seem happier outside. I said, we get kind of cold. It gets pretty hot and gets kind of cold like everywhere, but they do good in this cage with the, the tarps. I just got to replace the tarps every so often, but and during the summer, it gets kind of cold, but I don't worry about that as much as it getting really hot. During the summer, when these trees fill out, they get so much leaf cover, it shades this whole cage really well. They got the houses on top of that and the water, so um, it actually looks like a, it's pretty hospitable for them. They, uh, they seem to enjoy being out here, so. And there does get a little bit more grass out here for them to chew on, because, you know, cats like to eat plants and all that, too, so. They get a little more grass out here. Plant some catnip or something, maybe, so. But, um, they, uh, it will get some cover.